so now let's see how we can customize the header in woodmart theme so to edit the header you can hover to woodmart and here you will see header builder so you can click on current edit current header so here you see the logo when you click on edit you will see the current logo so if you want to change it just click on it and here you can search for logo and when you will search for it you will see the logos you can click on this white logo here you can see the dimensions of the logo so you can create a new logo with the same dimension so that it will appear exactly like this and there will be no alignment issue so for that just go to canva.com it's a free tool where you can create design and we can log in and here click on create a design and enter custom size and just go to the header builder and here see the values 36953 and you can enter this create a new design and here if you already have a logo you can upload your logo and just resize it otherwise you can use any of the template or maybe you can just create your own logo so let me just create a simple logo and download the logo if you have paid canva pro then you can download this transparent otherwise you can just download it and you can go to the website called reboof background and when you will upload your logo over here then it will give you transparent logo so that it will not show any background like here you can see a black background so it will not show that so download the logo in hd over HD you just need to log in to the website so after that so after that go to the header builder and here you can upload the file use the image and here you can see it's updated and just do not change the other settings otherwise the logo alignment gets uh, gets worse so just save it and here we have the main menu you can click on edit and here you will have to choose the menu that you want to show so currently we have not created the menu these are on the theme menus that came with the demo so we will create a new menu and then we will select it over here and here you have the account search wishlist card so i do not want this account thing so i can remove it and we can keep the rest of the things and here you can click on mobile and you will see the mobile settings over here click on the logo and here you have the Woodmart logo again just click over it and here select the new logo and just click on save changes and by the way here you also see the settings for the sticky header but you don't need to upload your logo because it will just use the same logo as the regular header if you are not uploading any logo in the sticky header if you want to use a different header a different logo in sticky header then you can change that definitely when you scroll down here on your website when you scroll down you see this sticky header so this is the header basically so if you want to use a different logo over here then you can just upload a different logo in the sticky header so just click on save and now let's click on settings and here if you want to make it full weight or you want to change anything like the drop downs or something then you can definitely do that so just click on save and now go back to the website and click on refresh over here you can see the new logo and when we scroll down we see this logo as well and here you can see the account thing is now gone so let's click on inspect and see the mobile version so here's the mobile version here you can see the things so after that you need to click on this header builder option and currently we have changed this one so we also need to update these ones which are the different versions like if we go to this compare page then you see this different header so for these ones we also need to update the logo and this option separately now let's download this logo in black color we can make the background white and we can change the color now let's go to remove bgb and download this killjoy transparent Color. so just click over here and update the logo in this light one you can upload the dark logo 
and dark one you can upload the light logo so all of them are done so let's refresh so they are updated so now let's set up the menus so here you can click on edit and you can see which menu is selected on the mobile so you can see none is selected so just close this and go to appearance and here select menus and here we can click on create a new menu and here you can name it then you can write any name and you can check mark both of these and click on create menu and here you can now click on view all and you can add the pages that you want to show in the header so let me add the show page contact us compare and the front page so let's add them and we can also show the categories but we have not created them yet so just click on save and now let's create some categories so go to the product so these are the categories where you upload your products so these are all the fake categories that came with the theme so just delete them i'll check all of them and delete all of them so this is the default category so we cannot delete it so let's just rename this one and we can name it julie or we can say gold let in Julie. This is the main item for this store, so we can keep it as the default category. And you can definitely change that picture later on. And let's add some more categories, which will be gold plated bangles. And now let's add another category that is gold plated bridal. Do we cock is come add so let's keep these cat three categories for now and now let's see how we can add them in the menu so just go to appearance menus so here we will scroll down and we will see the product categories the view wall add all of three all three of them And here you can make them as a drop down by just dragging them over a bit. And you can make the names shorter for the menus. So just click on save, change, save. And now let's use it in your site. And we can also change the order of these if we want. So and let's keep it here. Let's do that like this. And now let's use it this score and refresh. And you can see now simple so here is the menus we can move this icon change the default category which is why it's showing like this so we can fix this here it is we can open it remove it and update refresh and here you can see now it is fixed if you have any question just reach me out on my website via the contact form all the contact details are provided in the description and I will also provide the links for the web hosting that I recommend and I personally use in the description of the video. If you will purchase the web hosting or theme or anything using the link provided in the description then I will receive a little bit of commission that help me create these type of free videos for you. So that's it for the video. Like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more related videos. See you next time.